Hi, I'm Heston from Collie Speaking, and here today we're with Clyde Burkhofer, and we're just running through a few questions on the market in Toowoomba and how things are progressing in terms of developments. Uh, Clive, most people in the city uh, know you, and for those who haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, would you mind telling us a bit about just your story and, and why you moved into developments and businesses in Toowoomba? Well, I started right from the bottom. Yep. Uh, World War II was on. I was born in uh, 35. World War II finished when the bomb was dropped in 45. Yep. I grew up in a little farm at uh, World Camp. I went to a one teacher school and he walked up the middle smoking a cigarette talking to himself. <laughs> he told the other kids I was the most hopeless past he ever met. <laughs> he didn't know what ever happened to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't want to go to school. Uh, when I was 11 or 12, my father had asked me to stay home and fork hay. In 1986, uh, J.B. Occupation came in and asked me if I'd stand for uh, the seat of Tumban South. They reckoned a lot of people were, reckon I was making, uh, using it to make money, uh, knowing what was going on then. But we say the last year I was mayor, I sold $5 million of the land. The next year I got out of being mayor, I sold $25 million of the land. So if that was helping yourself, that's... <laughs> and I was too honest probably yep. with them. Yeah. With all your projects that you've done like across Toowoomba throughout the years, what, what sort of would have been like your favourite project to work on or your developments? That you, is there one in particular that means more to you than, than anything else? Well, it's pretty hard. I've done so many things. Probably <laughs> yeah. the hotel was a big achievement. That yep. was a bit earlier in life. When I designed the hotel, I had hoteliers would come there and they said, it's the best designed hotel we've ever seen. You must have, who designed it? I said, I designed it myself. They said, you must have knew a lot about hotels. I said, except for having a drink in one, I didn't have a clue. <laughs> education is handy, but it's nothing really. Education and common sense, if you've got education and common sense, you're really on top of the world. Yeah. But uh, I only had common sense, I had no education. Yeah. But, uh, and I only had common sense, and that's what's taken me through life. That's, that's amazing. With, with your life now and how far you've come, Going back to say being a 21 year old in today's world, in today's society, what would you tell yourself that will help you to succeed in the future as a 21 year old and now? Well, everybody wants to go to university and if we don't stand, stop settling people, to, we've got to have a certain amount of educated people, yeah. But we're educating too many people. And they're all going to some lone brain professors teaching them how to uh, be a whiz kid. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they're getting over-educated, they're teaching how to get out and fleece the public instead of getting out and doing an honest day's work. Now lots of people can make money but they can't handle it. And other people can handle money but they can't make it. I had a happy knack, I could do both. Yeah, so a lot of young people are a bloody liability. Yeah. I just bought that car out there that's 15 year old at uh, Ford Explorer yeah. for $8,000 and it's just like I like get to come out of the showroom. Oh, that's amazing. Um, and Clive, um, also with the developments such as um, Brisbane West Airport and the Grand Central, we touched on that off camera. Um, how do you think that's impacting Toowoomba? Is it good? Is it bad? What's it doing to businesses? How do you think that's going to be travelling in the future? Uh, Grand Central, you know, it, it's monstrous. I can't believe that they're building something as big. Mm. I, I own Village Fair at the time when they built the old Grand Central just approximately 20 years ago. Toowoomba was born on farmers. Yep. Farming is a big thing, and it's still quite a big thing there. So, so the, uh, oil and some of these sort of things, coal seam gas fluctuates, and, and you get the highs and the lows, yep. and, and continuity, and that's the problem with the airport. You haven't got continuity. You've been able to say, well, I missed the plane now, but can I get it in the one in an hour's time? Because it's not going to... There won't be one in an hour's time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, a lot of the viewers today are probably wondering how these developments are going to impact the residential market. So for people, you know, in multiple suburbs yeah. that might be considering selling, um, will this impact their value on their property or will there, you won't see much impact in the market? Or how will well, this... Well, uh, what's worrying me with Toowoomba, and I hope I'm wrong, the old coast goes like this, yep. and it goes like that. Yep. Toowoomba, I've prided and I've always, as me, I always said, it doesn't boom, it doesn't gloom. We might uh, go up a bit, but then we don't come down. Mm. Toowoomba's starting to do what the old coast is doing. We're going up like that, and I'm fighting, we're going to come, come down. I don't know who, mm. like, see, with Grand Central, you've got all these builders, and most of them have come from out of town, and, and you've only got to look at uh, uh, signs on, Units and houses, 
you know, someone moves in and in three months they're gone, mm. they've done their job they've got to do here. Yeah. And they're, and they're, we're turning over these people, they're not permanents. Yeah. And the same as the Rains Crossing, there's a, employing a lot of people there, but when that's finished, they're going to be gone. gone. You know? yeah. Well, I think that was uh, all the questions I have for you today, Clive. But I, I really thank you so much for the opportunity. And um, yeah, just to one of Toowoomba's most wealthiest and to be honest, probably the most humblest man I've ever met. Um, thank you for answering our questions today. Shop, please,